Hello everyone, today our topic is how to insert MySQL row from Airtable record. So here my objective is that whenever I add a new record in my Airtable, then automatically I want to capture these details and by using those details, I want to add a new row in my MySQL database where I'm going to keep the backup of all the records of my Airtable. So for that, I have to simply build a connection between Airtable and MySQL. For building this connection, I'm going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Public Connect, I'm going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Airtable. In Action application, I'm going to use MySQL. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can insert MySQL row from Airtable record. So whenever I add a new record in my Airtable in a new row, then I want to capture these details and I want to use these details and automatically add as a new row in MySQL database. So my objective is that whenever a new record is added in Airtable, then I will automatically insert a new row in MySQL database with the details of Airtable record. So for my objective, I have to build a simple connection between Airtable and MySQL. For building this connection, I'm going to use Public Connect, which requires zero coding and programming skills. And for that, I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com and this will take us to this landing page of pabli here we have two options sign in and sign up for free if you don't have any account with pabli you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get 100 of tasks free every month or if you already have an account you can just sign in and you will get to see this page so these are all the apps that pabli offers and we are going to use pabli connect here for that i have to click here on this access now button under pabli connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Public Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is a folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to insert MySQL row from a table record. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this, I'm going to find the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I want to use this folder, which is MySQL. So I'm going to select this folder and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says, when this happens, action says, do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application will be Airtable. So I'm going to select Airtable here and I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new record will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect Airtable with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Airtable. So here I have already logged into my Airtable account in my browser. So it has detected that. So here what I need to do is I need to add my base. So I'll click here on this add a base button. And here I'm going to use a base of MySQL. So I'm going to select my base here. And now I will click on grant access. And I have successfully connected Airtable with Public Connect. Now again, I have to select my base and table. So I have already added my base in my connection between Airtable and Pabli Connect. So I have only used one base, so I have selected that. Now I have to select my table. So for this, I have to go back to Airtable. And here I'm using this base of MySQL data. And in this, I have this one table, which is named as contacts details. So I'm going to use this table. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. So for selecting the table, I have to open this tab and I only have one table. So I'm going to select this. So here I have this important note, which is to capture the trigger response for the action new records, you will first need to create a field in your table schema with the field name created and set its field type as created type. Now let's go back to a table. And now for capturing the records of my a table data, what I have to do is in my table, I have to create this one column, which, which has to be named as created. And in my column, my field type will be of created time. So I have selected that. And I've created this particular column. Now I'm going to click on save. I will go back to public connect. And now what I need to do is I need to add a new record in my a table. So I will go back to a table and in this, I'm going to add one more row. So I'll click here on this plus icon. And here I have to give a unique ID. So my unique ID will be one. 
now i have to give my first name so my first name will be test now i have to give a last name so my last name will be user and i have to give a mobile number so i'm going to use a country code before my mobile number here so my country code will be 91 and i'm going to type any random mobile number now i have to give a email address so my email address will be testuser at the rate tablet youths.com and here in this column of created my time is already selected because it is an automated column and in this whenever i will add data in my row this column will be filled now i will go back to public connect and i have to click on save and send test to quit button and here we can see that i have received these details so this is my unique id which is one this is my mobile number and my first name is test last name is user email address is test user at the rate public use.com and i have this field created at time so this timing is different because this is in UTC time zone and in my A table I have Asia Kolkata time zone that's why it is showing different time here. Now I have received this response but if you don't get this response instantly then don't worry this is a polling based response and within 10 minutes A table is going to send you the new data and if you have not received the data and if you have not received the data instantly then you have to wait for the next 10 minutes and you will receive your data. So here I have received this data. Now what I need to do is I need to keep a backup of all these data in my SQL database. So what I need to do is I need to use these details and I want to add these details automatically in my MySQL database and I will insert a new row with these details. So for that I have to set up my action step. So I'm going to open this tab and here my action application will be MySQL. So I'm going to select MySQL and now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and insert row will be my action event so I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect my SQL with public connect so I'll click here on connect I will click on add new connection and for connecting my SQL I have to fill all these details so for connecting my SQL account I'm going to fill all my details here and you can also do the same so I'm going to fill my details so I have filled all my account details here now I'm going to click on save and I have connected my SQL account with public connect now for adding the details in my MySQL database, I have to first select my table name. So for that, let me take you back to MySQL. And in this, I'm using this table of new contacts. So I'm going to map this in public connect. So let's go back to public connect. And for selecting a table, you have to open this tab. And in this tab, you will find all the tables that are connected with your MySQL account. So I want to use this new contacts table. So I'm going to select that. And in my table, I have all these columns, ID, first name, last name, mobile number, and email. So I have to fill all these details and I have all these details in my Airtable records. So I have captured all these details in my trigger response of Airtable. So I'm going to map all these details here and I'm going to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open the response of Airtable and in this, I have this unique ID. So this is going to be my ID. So I'm going to map this. Now I need the first name so I'm going to click here I will open the response and this is the first name which is test so I'm going to map this similarly I will map my last name and the mobile number and in the last I'm going to map my email address so I'm going to open the response and this is my email address which is testuser at the rate pablitudes.com so I'm going to map this and here we can see I have filled all the required details so I'm going to click on save and send test to quit button and here we can see I have the status of success so this means that I have added all these details automatically in my MySQL database. So to check this, I'm going to go back to MySQL. I'm going to refresh this. And here we can see that I have inserted this new row with the details of the Airtable record in my MySQL table. So here I have this ID which is 1, first name is test, last name is user and this is my random mobile number and I have this email address which is testuser at the rate pablitudes.com. So I have inserted this new row with the details of the record that I have created in Airtable. So I have automatically added this new row in my MySQL database with the details of the Airtable record. So here my connection between Airtable and MySQL is, is working successfully. Now let's go back to public connect. And here I have built this connection between Airtable and MySQL in such a way that whenever a new record will be added in Airtable, then automatically I'm catching those details of the records and I'm using those details to insert a new row in MySQL. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Airtable and my trigger event was new record. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was MySQL and my action event was insert row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. 
And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.